Welcome to Ra Online. Today we are going to talk about the topic and the anatomy of larynx, which is a huge topic and of extreme importance, not only in anatomy but also from ENT point of view. So to start with, what is the larynx? Where is it exactly situated? So the situation of the larynx, it is also called the voice box, is in the anterior midline of the neck. It extends from the root of the tongue to the trachea. So basically it will continue as the trachea. So it will start from the root of the tongue and it will continue as trachea beyond the cricoid cartilage. So level the adult male, the larynx extends from cervical third that is C3 to C6 vertebra. In case of adult female, the larynx is little higher than the males. So it is extending from C1 to C4 vertebra. In case of children also, it is same, that is C1 to C4 vertebra. Size in adult male, the larynx is 44 millimeters. So larynx is larger in males, whereas in females, the larynx is only 36 millimeter. Coming to the internal diameter, the internal diameter increases from childhood, like from up to three years, it is only three millimeter, whereas in adults, it is about 12 millimeter. So now let's see exactly where is the larynx. So as you can see over here, this is actually the airway. The airway is like this. So from the oral cavity, so the tongue is actually attached to the epiglottis. So this is the epiglottis. So if you open this side, it's the oral cavity. Then you have the nasal cavity, the nasopharynx. Oral cavity, you have the oropharynx. And after the, just below the oropharynx, so this part is the pharynx. You can see over here the pharynx actually, the laryngopharynx will be actually associated, means it will be encircling the larynx. So this is the inlet of the larynx. So exactly here is the inlet of the larynx. So the airway, air has to pass through this and not through this. So while the deglutition happens, when we are swallowing the food, the food actually, this inlet of the larynx will close. So the inlet of the larynx closes and the food goes into the laryngopharynx and then through the laryngopharynx it will go into the esophagus. So you can see over here the trachea is in front of the esophagus and the larynx is exactly situated over here. So it is just, it actually ends at the level of the lower border of cricoid cartilage which corresponds to C6. Okay, so cricoid cartilage. And so where to where the larynx is extending from the root of the tongue the larynx is starting, it is extending up to the cricoid cartilage. Behind the larynx, we have the laryngopharynx. So, this is the inlet of the larynx. So, through this, the air has to pass and go inside. So, now if we see very carefully, how is this structure mainly made up of? So, larynx is mainly made up of cartilages. So, you can see here, these all blue color structures are all cartilages. So, we can see so many cartilages over here. Okay. It has muscles which are intimately related to each other and the cartilages. So we have intrinsic muscles of the larynx. Then we also have along with it some folds, some ligaments, some membranes which will be told to you subsequently. So coming to the bony, the architecture of the larynx. So mainly the cartilages which are very, very important because all the structures will be attached to these cartilages and with the attachment of the structures to these cartilages, they will vibrate, they will be pulled up, they will be pulled down. So like that, there will be a lot of effects and lot of thing is it will help in the phonation. So the air has to pass through this cavity. So air has to pass through the larynx and then only it can pass between the two vocal cords. You can see these are the two vocal cords over here. And this between the two vocal cords, the air is passing and then only it can enter into the trachea. So this space between the two vocal cords through which the air has to pass is called the glottis, the rima glottidis. Okay, this is the narrowest part of the larynx. So now coming to the things which you are able to see in this diagram, if we see clearly, you can see over here a leaf-shaped cartilage and here will be the tongue. So the tongue will be just anterior to the cartilage, okay? And the tongue is here and this is the posterior basal part. 